Stay right there in your easy chair For 30 minutes of pleasure Don't you go, it's more than the show It's the talk of the desert It's the talk of the desert with Belinda Reed I just love coming home at night I turn around, she's a treasure Now, here's Melinda. Well, I have to tell you, this is an unexpected show for the Desert Symphony because we sort of had a tragedy a week or so ago. And joining me again is Nancy Tappick, the president of the Desert Symphony, and Marilyn Benikowski, the co-founder of the Desert Symphony. And ladies, I'm sorry, so sorry for the tragic loss of Eldro. Well, we were very shocked. Yes. And uh, we we're very sad about it because we were really looking forward to playing with for Al Jarreau. And Al Jarreau was really looking forward to playing with the Desert Symphony. Mm -hmm. And it was uh, a good part of the reason that I think he wanted to stay in the business just a little bit longer because he <laughs> loved doing symphony shows and he had never had an occasion to do a symphony show in the in the desert and uh, we were really really shocked we got news about two days or three days before he passed that he was retiring and realizing that we were going to have to scramble and find somebody in a big hurry uh, we got on the phone and um, we were fortunate although unfortunately had mm -hmm. to do it uh, to retain Leanne Rhymes, and we're really excited about that. But like I said, we booked out Jero, but the man upstairs had other plans. <laughs> he sure did, and didn't so he? Well, this we is for you. This is for your gala, your yes. your biggest fundraiser of the year for the Desert Symphony, which is taking place on April first. Yes, and so. What a horrible thing to lose your ga your gala musician, your headliner for that. I can't I can't imagine. It was horrible musically also, because I had never played with him on stage, and I was told that they had made beautiful symphonic charts for us. So, it was just all around a blow. But as Nancy says, we were very very fortunate to get Leanne Rhymes, and. When everybody hears the name, they say, ooh, or ah, so I think well, it's going to be great. I was doing some research on her earlier. Yeah, she's only 34 years old. Yeah. Yes, yes. <laughs> did you see her list of accomplishments? It's amazing. She's had, what, two Grammys, three American Country Music Awards, and one CMA Award? I yes. mean, it's, it is amazing what she's accomplished in that. And she's time. had the longest-running top 100 songs on the Billboard record. Charts, yeah. Charts. With uh, How Do I Live Without You? And it, it, she just held that record for months long and months time. and months. Long time. Yeah, so. fu a funny story that you didn't hear. Um, mm -hmm. I won't tell names, but I was with someone who was a musician who was sitting behind her when she was, I think, 14 or 15 and got her Grammy. And it was so funny because he said it was the most exciting event for her. She jumped up and her mother jumped up and she said, <laughs> this 14, 15 year old. So it was quite exciting. And we're excited to have her because she is so talented. Well, yeah, she got started extremely, extremely young. young. Yes. Yes. And I read that, she, that she's the youngest person to ever win a Grammy, Grammy Award. That's correct. That's, yeah. that's pretty she's amazing. Got yeah. an unbelievable resume. And, and a songbook that doesn't quit. And she's got a voice like a bird. She's really she's got a fantastic voice, especially when she does Blue. Yes. And she had a big top hit record with Blue when she did it. And, of course, she is known to do some, a lot of the Patsy Cline songbook. And everybody loves yeah. the Patsy Cline songbook. And, and so Gary was cute. You know, we're honoring uh, Ruta Lee this year, and she's the first woman to ever receive the Amadeus Award. Yay, Ruta. <laughs> and, and so I told Ruta, and she said, hey, she says, this is really good. 
she's from Texas, I'm from Texas, and you're from Texas. She said, <laughs> three gals from Texas, we better sing the Yellow Rose of Texas. <laughs> Uh, and, and Gary said, Gary, that the music, Gary, Gary Bergson, our music director, said that he had to replan the first half of the, of the uh, gala, and he's doing compositions that all have to do with women. So it's going to be a strong woman night. Yay! <laughs> Yay. <Yes. laughs> yeah. Well, that's interesting that you all three are from Texas. And our, found, our co founder, yeah. a woman, Ruda, yes. me, yes. and Leanne. Yes. Hey. What do you know about that? Yeah. Only I'm from New York. You mean the president. But she's still a woman. She can't change that. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. What are you going to do? <laughs> well, yeah. So every, everybody's had to change midstream to adjust to, this, to the new um, guest Quick, star. Very quickly. Yeah. Well, explain how the gala will work for the Desert Symphony now on, on April 1st. Well, we, we keep to our formula, okay. and that being that we have a headliner like Leanne, and uh, they're in concert with the Desert Symphony. But prior to the event, uh, the concert, we have dinner available at Cuisto or Wally's for a gala ticket of $500 a person, of which $290 of that is a tax deduction. And it gives you premier seating, um, dinner, and and uh, the concert. and. You know, it, it, we, we're not really changing our formula. We just had to change our artist. Okay. So, and, But then also there is an extra special ticket that you can purchase for the gala. Yes, sponsorships. And every year I do sponsorship opportunities in the founder's room. And the dinner is uh, catered upstairs and cocktail hour starts at 530 and uh, we've had some wonderful sponsors and they keep coming back to me each year which I, for which I'm very grateful and uh, that ticket is for dinner, premier seating, uh, cocktail hour in the founders room and then an after party where you meet the artists and have a photo taken. And how much is that? It starts at $2,500 a person and if you buy, there's different categories but there's you know, two people for five thousand and and up and up, and we have a couple of twenty five thousand dollar sponsors, and um, we're we're really moving along. <laughs> Congratulations! And that's everybody wonderful. stuck with it, even with the change of artists. But yes, oh, that was Leanne, the main that's, thing. That's terrific. Yeah. yeah. Well, um, where can they get tickets? They can get tickets by calling. For the concert only, 760-340-ARTS. A-R-T-S. That is the McCallum ticket the line. Theater, box office. Or they can call my cell phone, 760-895-8747. <laughs> or you can go to desertsymphony.org, in which we have a direct link to the McCallum box office. And you can also contact me through my phone number again, and you'll see it on the website. And for and that's for the dinner tickets. Those are dinner things, tickets the whole, and sponsorship. The whole thing. Yes. Can, okay. Perfect. Well, that's yeah. That's terrific. Now, what kind of songs is Leanne going to be doing? Her, I guess, her big big hits, huh? You don't know yet. Don't know <laughs> well, yet. The, yeah. the music, honest and truly, was supposed to be delivered today. But we, you know, we have an idea, and uh, it is going to be her standards, of course. Of yeah. course. Yes. Of course. No, her big hits. You won't be disappointed. Okay. But <laughs> we know one thing. She's not getting off the stage without How Do I Live Without You, yes. because I will stand for that. <laughs> I love that song. So, yeah. That's right. Yeah. So now, is the, is, now the symphony, which I, I so greatly appreciate about the Desert Symphony, you are a professional symphony. You, you bring your musicians uh, from L.A., basically? That's where they live, most of them. Okay. Yes. Yes. And they're actually paid musicians. Oh, yes. So, they're will they paid. have to do much rehearsal because of the change of this music? No, no. Same. Everything is exactly the same. You put the music in front of them, they do it, we rehearse, and then we play. That's you know, it. You feed is... them in between, though, Marilyn. Oh, we <laughs> do feed them. Indeed, <laughs> we do. You know, Local 47, Los Angeles Musicians Union, um, it's wonderful to work with these musicians because they are the best of the best and they can sight read and they can sit down and they can have a rehearsal and when you get in the auditorium or the theater later that evening you think they were rehearsing for weeks but they're professionals that's what the little True. word 
quote, professional. <laughs> Plus the fact I think some of them have played with her before. Oh, okay. And this is helpful. And I'm going to enlarge the symphony a little bit and have some more musicians on stage to really give her a real good background. Terrific. Yeah. I like that. It's going to be a very, very special evening. And, and uh, Ruta Lee will be a kick when she comes out to accept her award. <laughs> no, she won't be. No, no. She's like the most shy, retiring person I have ever met that's, in my entire life. Yeah. That's Not. probably the only part of the program that I can't tell you what's going to happen no. because anything you, can you, happen. You can't plan that for no. Ruta. <laughs> no, but Ruta is really a wonderful woman. And I don't know how many people really realize how many philanthropic things that she has done in her mm -hmm. life. And she lost, of course, her sidekick, Debbie Reynolds, yeah. this year. And when we had asked her about being our honoree, she said, I'm going to get Debbie to come down. Oh. And and because April 1st would have been Debbie's birthday. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, and sweet. so, you know, she was very disappointed. She said, but that's okay. She says, everything's going to be fine. I said, I know it will be. Yeah. So. As you just said, God had other plans. That's right. <laughs> that's right. Yes. Yeah. So that was another tragedy this year. Well, and, and then uh, uh, Carrie Fisher, too. I yes. mean, within a day of each other, mother and daughter. It's unbelievable. Yes, yeah, it is. We, gotta, we can't talk about these negative things. we got to talk no, about the positive no, well, things. You know what? They're not really negative. Look at how lucky we were to have these people among us for yes. so many years. Such talents that gave us iconic films and songs and everything that will go on way past their lifetime. That's right. So, yes, we mourn them. But we're so fortunate to have such great bodies of music. That's right, absolutely. Okay, so. Yeah, and where we can go, go back and visit with them when we want to, yes. with all of the movies and everything. That's so. right. Um, now, this is your 28th season, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. For the Desert Symphony. Yes. So, Marilyn, can you believe it's been 28 years? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, I can believe it. But the years do fly by, yeah. I'll tell you that. Well, when we come back from the break, we're going to talk about, um, you have a couple of extra uh, special fundraisers yes, for the symphony, Desert mm -hmm. Symphony, and more about the gala. And you've got two more shows this season yes. mm -hmm. coming up. And uh, then we'll, any hints about next season yet? Do you say well, anything? I don't think I can yeah. scoop it on this one, but maybe on the next on one. On the next one. Okay. <laughs> Good try there. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like it when people make announcements on Talk of the Desert. Well, we'll try for the next time. <laughs> okay. We'll be right back with Nancy and Marilyn. The Desert Symphony has something for everyone this season. Live entertainment supported by your professional symphony orchestra creates great memories for the entire family. Experience the finest musicians performing the classics, popular songs from theater, and even more from motion pictures. For tickets and information, go to thedesertsymphony.org or call 760-340-ARTS or 760-773-5988. Well, welcome back for the Desert Symphony. We had this tragedy with losing Aldero as the headliner for the gala on April 1st. But as Nancy said, we've added... I said, we've, you've added. <laughs> well, you're, you're part of it. <laughs> Leanne Rhymes. And that was going to be a terrific uh, show. I know it's going to be. But you have a couple other fundraisers we need to talk about here. And let's talk about my favorite, and that's Symphony Sammy. Oh, Symphony Sammy <laughs> is going strong. And uh, we uh, really surpassed our, our uh, little doggy friends this year mm -hmm. and I keep getting questions every time we have a concert how do I get my little doggy in the yeah. book and so that's that campaign is always ongoing you can send in your dog's picture right now and we'll put it in there for next year and the donation is uh, $75 to have your dog mm -hmm. join in the conversation discussing what our new season will be and Linda Williamson, our board member, writes the conversation and is always is, is so very cute. entertaining. <laughs> and uh, so that's that's ongoing. And all you have to do is upload your photo of your dog, send it to us, tell us there's a form on our website with the information that we need, and send it in with your check or credit card, and we will get it ready for next season's book. 
Well, I have to brag just a little bit. You can brag. Frank Cuso has been in your book, I think, from the very beginning when you started Symphony of Sammy. And Frank Cuso is going to be 10 in May. I can't believe that, my little son. And now a daughter joined us a few (laughs) months ago. Her name is Melina. And Linda Williamson picked out her as the lead dog in the whole program book this year. So she's welcoming everybody to the 28th season of the Desert Symphony. And Miss Melina is right on my feet right now, and she is sound to sleep. So uh, she doesn't know what a big star she is. (laughs) (laughs) Don't tell her she want more milk bones. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, that was cute. That was cute. But this was all started to honor your dog, Sammy, who we all loved and adored. And he always came on stage with you for years. And and, uh, really, that was started by Ben because we used to walk in the neighborhood. (laughs) Ben Benikowski. Ben Benikowski. The other half of Marilyn Benikowski, yes. And one day he called him and he said, come on, Symphony Sammy. And that's started the whole thing so yeah terrific now your other uh fundraisers you have leading up to your uh, last two shows of the season is elizabeth pitt karen i love elizabeth pitt karen yes one of you tell us about elizabeth pitt karen elizabeth is going to perform some wonderful um selections i know them personally so i know how the difficulty of them and one is Sarasati Sagoinavizen, which is just tremendous. And she's going to do a couple of other things. And I think a Paganini and Cesar Franck. So it's going to be a super, super program. Well, and this is not a regular symphony. This is what no, you're calling it. No, this is piano a- accompaniment and her solo. This is in a private home. Yes. And so it's very limited seating. But Elizabeth Pitcairn owns the world famous Red Violin. If you ever saw the movie The Red Violin, this is the violin they're talking about is this violin. <laughs> yes. It's in a pretty amazing story. Yes. And she tells it so well. And her grandfather bought the violin for her when she was 16. And, um, Oh, last year, is that right? No. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, he wouldn't let her carry it around, that was for sure, because she was still in school. So she had another strat that wasn't quite the value of that that she played on. But this, this is a magnificent instrument, and I did have the pleasure of handling it and holding it one time, but that was it. Did your hand sweat a little bit? No, no I, I just, didn't, no. just felt so good. But the tone and the quality and the way she plays is just spectacular. She's a sensational artist, no question about it. She is. Well, this, that is, the date is March 8th. Yes. Uh, at 6 o'clock in a private home in... Um, Vintage Country Vintage Club. Club. Vintage. <laughs> yeah. So if you want to go in and see the Vintage Club, you need to go to this event. But it's always lovely. And uh, there's also going to be hors d'oeuvres and champagne and dessert. Heavy mm-hmm. hors d'oeuvres. Heavy, Heavy hors d'oeuvres. Yes. Good. I'm glad to know that. <laughs> okay. I eat a lot of hors d'oeuvres. Yes. <laughs> I got a good appetite. Uh-huh. But that's Elizabeth Pitt Karen. And the tickets, get that through your website or phone number? You can go to our website or you can call the Desert Symphony office. At seven six zero seven seven three five nine eight eight, and you can also call if you find my phone. It's, it's number seven it's on number phone. seven on yeah. my phone. Yeah. Exactly. Normally, <laughs> what is that phone number? <laughs> <laughs> or my own cell, which is seven six zero eight nine five eight seven four seven, and we'll be happy to take your reservation. And it's really going to be an outstanding event, and. One not to be missed. It's, this is a very intimate situation because yes. it's in a private home yes. rather versus than being in the McCallum Theater. But we do have two shows coming up still for this season of the Desert Symphony. One of you, tell me about them. <laughs> well, Forbidden Broadway is a satire on all, I can't remember all of the Broadway shows they're doing. They're changing costumes so frequently, but we play the first half. And we're doing some wonderful, we're playing 42nd Street and some other things that Gary has picked up. But the people who are doing this are so talented. I believe they won a Grammy in New York on this. Or uh, what, Tony. What a, a Tony, Tony yes. on Broadway. One of those ending Y words. words. Yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> and I, I am so looking forward to it because I, I'm privileged to hear some of the recordings for what we're going to play. And it is hilarious really hilarious and that's eight o'clock on march 16th at the mccallum theater thursday march 16th mm-hmm. yes mm-hmm. and all your shows start at eight o'clock at yes. the mccallum yes. don't yes. they yes. Uh-huh. and the 
final show, wait, it's not the final show, because the final show is the gala on April 1st. No, no, that's not part of the series. Well, no, it's not, but I mean, your, but your final... Perf- not this year. Well, okay. Our dates the, are mixed the, up this year. That's why you're messing me up. I'm sorry. But the final show of this season okay. <laughs> is a local desert resident. Yes, Lucy Arnaz. And she is going to be incredible. I, if you've never seen her, you must come and see this show. She's such an, a, a fantastic singer, dancer, storyteller, jokester, great personality, very lively, and uh, it's, it's not to be missed. So that's April 6th? April 6th. At the Are all your shows on Thursday? At least they were this year. Yes, yes except our gala is always on a Saturday. On April Fool's Day this year. year. (laughs) Yes. I can tell you that next year it's on a Saturday. Yes. But it's April 7th. 7th. Oh, you know that already. Yes, I do. Okay. But you can plan for this one on April 1st for this gala with Leanne Rhymes. But yeah, uh, uh, Lucy Arnaz is just a phenomenal performer. She is. And, and, um, you know, her her stage show, uh, stage clothes, are incredible, lots of spangles and stuff, which I love. And, uh, and it's just, she has great uh, little stories about her parents and growing up, and, and it's really gonna be a great evening of song and talent. Well, I mean, really, her parents started several things here in the desert. Yes, yes. Like especially in, 50s, in Indian Wells. Yes, Indian in the Wells, 50, it was 50s, 60s? 50s. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so it's pretty amazing. It's that, now the, the Miramonte is where their first place was. Oh, was it really? Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, mm-hmm. I think the the one that they started a little later on was the uh, Indian Indian Wells Resort Hotel. Exactly. Yeah. Yes. And but they were very big members at Indian Wells Country Club, which yeah. you and I still belong to. Yes. And um, you know, it's a lot of rich history with uh, Ricky and Lucy and and Lucy. that's right now is she going to wear um a a pie or anything like her mother would have worn or she didn't ask me to order anything so yeah okay so so. you know all the chocolates on the conveyor belt you know remember that (laughs) oh yeah yeah that was fun lucille ball her mother was phenomenal phenomenal actress yeah and you know we're so thankful to our audience uh because this year we we have so many season ticket holders and uh, it, it's just been so wonderful and they've been so receptive to everything that we put on stage and as a matter of fact our last show which was Arrival the Music of ABBA was oversold out. It was oversold I mean, out? I could have sold a hundred more tickets at least. Really? Yes and it was phenomenal and that, that, and that really encourages us and inspires us to bring great entertainment to the valley and be so well received. So we're extremely grateful to our audience and to people like you, Melinda, that give us the opportunity to showcase what we do and to talk about it and to show some humor about it. And and, uh, really, you do a great job. So God bless you. Oh, you sweetheart. Thank you. God bless you for what you two do for the desert here. You asked me about 28 years. You you were with us right from the beginning. Not the 28 years, but but 18 years ago. when you started, yes. Yes, when I started 18 years ago. Right from the beginning. Talking about humor, Gary Berkson, your musical director, yes. he always had humor to the introductions of the songs that he does with the symphony. Yes. Talk about Gary. Well, Gary has a very wry sense of humor. Yes. But Gary has come into his own and uh, has gotten to be a little more jovial with the audience <laughs> and, and funny at times. Like I was thinking back to two years ago when we had uh, Jason Alexander on stage. And at one point, Jason Alexander, and he had warned Gary that he was going to get on the podium with him. But he got on the podium and messed up his hair. And, <laughs> messed up Gary's hair? Yes. While, he, there's while not a Gary, lot of hair. <laughs> while Gar- in the back there is. Oh. <laughs> while, they were, uh, while he was conducting. And that was so funny. And, and uh, you know, just little things that happened in that show with Gary and, and Jason. They had a great rapport. And, uh, and it was really, really terrific. 
terrific so, show. So the Desert Symphony is not a stuffy uh, formal orchestra. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, God, no. We're more fun than a barrel of monkeys. <laughs> <laughs> well, we only have a couple minutes left. Let's recap what's going on. Let's do it in chronological order, I think, is the best thing to do. So, um, oh, Symphony Sammy, anytime you want to get on their website and uh, send a picture of your, your Pet could be a cat, mm -hmm. might be something else. I birds. Mean, birds. I'm a We've dog. We've had bulls. Uh, we, parrot. We've had a parrot. parrot. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm a dog person, so I will be doing it again for my doggies again. Um, and then, um, so that's any time you can do that. But then we have the sal salon musical. Mm -hmm. Soiree is what you're Soiree. calling it. Soiree. Soiree. Uh, and reception on that is Wednesday, March 8th at 6 p.m. and it's at the Vintage Club. How much is the cost on that? $150. And it's with the Red Violin and Elizabeth Pitt Karen. Yes. Yay. And then two more shows coming up for the 28th season for the Desert mm -hmm. Symphony. Yes. That, that will be Forbidden Broadway on March 16th and Lucy Arnaz on April 6th. And then the, uh, it's not the final show because I just tried, I just got that all mixed up, but on Saturday, April 1st is the gala and a switch of uh, headliners. Yes. yes. From Al Jarreau to Leanne Rhymes and the honoree of Ruta Lee and a wonderful evening of music and laughter and incredible first half. So we hope you, they are Patrons, come and join us because it's going to be a wonderful thing, a night to remember. And phone numbers. Oh, well, McCallum Theater. It's box, box office, office for it, concert only. Yeah, for concert only is 760-340-ARTS. I know. And then for the for the gala, the phone number is Nancy. The office number is 760-773-5988. Or my personal cell, 760-895-8747. <laughs> And we'll be happy to talk to you about all the opportunities available and mm -hmm. take your order. And we need to support the Desert Symphony so they make their 29th season next year, which will start in, I think it's October with the October, children's. Yes, we're going yes. to start. We have Fantastic. a children's program. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, one note to our viewers out there. If you do buy tickets online, please make sure that you go to either our website, uh, desertsymphony.org, or McCallum Theater, right. uh, McCallum Theater, but make sure you look for the one that says official site because you want to get the best price. Right. And there are some resellers out there. And we, once you buy a ticket through them, if something happens, yeah. we cannot do anything about it. Good point, Nancy. Yeah. I'd like to thank Very Nancy Tapping, the president of the Desert Symphony, and Marilyn Benikowski, the co-founder of the Desert Symphony, for being on this unexpected program uh, because of the replacement for the gala on April 1st. Thank, thank you. you for joining me, and thank you, audience, for joining us. For more information, email TOTDTV at questoffice.net and visit talkofthedesert.tv on the web. <laughs> <laughs>